Hi, Filipino freelancers with Australian clients. Good afternoon. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. It's a midweek. It's it's a week we're in. Sobrang busy ng mga tao. Some of you might be sending reports to your clients or probably downtime nyo tong, ano, tong midweek na halangan nyo ng mag-recharge at kailangan nyo mag-relax after an exhausting Monday and Tuesday. Pero bago natin yan isipin <laughs> on how will you recover, I hope that as you watch this video, as you watch this webinar, you will find rest and you will find um ayun, you will find um an opportunity to learn something okay so i want you guys to comment if you can hear me clearly uh if my sound is okay please comment ano please comment naman check lang tayo ng sound can you guys hear me kasi sabi ni rona wala daw audio can you hear me clearly Ayan, feeling ko okay naman ang aking microphone. Audio, audio. Okay naman. Test, test. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now, guys? Ayan, if if you can hear me, please comment para mag intro ko ulit. <laughs> okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Let me just check sa FFAC kung nandun na ba tayo. Teka lang guys ha, I have to check if our, ayan, na, may nakita na akong yes, yes! So again, again, <laughs> welcome to Filipino Freelancers with Australian Clients. It's a midweek and I'm so excited to um to have this conversation uh, para sa ating mga newbies na gustong pasukin ang bookkeeping or gustong mag down to um uh bookkeeping and accounting. Ayan, accounting space. Okay, thank you guys. You can hear me clearly. Maraming salamat. Sobrang, ano ko, sobrang passionate ako ngayong hapong to kasi I had a good win. Mamaya ko na yung discuss This webinar is not about me. So without further ado, i-welcome natin ang dalawa na na founder ng, kailangan ko, hindi ko lang yung notes ko, guys. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng notes para di magkamali. <laughs> I would like to introduce the founder of Shepherds Virtual Accountants and Bookkeepers and the per, the people behind the Bookkeeper Secret Academy. Without further ado, pakilala ko na sa inyo si Shari and si Alfie. Hi, Shari! Hi, Alfie! Hello! Hi, guys. Hello! <laughs> Ayan, hello. Hello, hello and welcome sa FFAC. Guys, if you can um please welcome si Shari and Alfi by commenting a uh, clapping emoji. Ayan. So habang nagko-comment kayo, Shari and Alfi, can you please share a bit of background, a bit of a background about yourself? Paano kayo naging remote worker or naging freelancer or home-based professional? And bakit accounting or bookkeeping. Siguro let's start with Shari. Okay, sige. Hello guys! So, Shari here. So, baano ba ako nag-start uh, working from home? Uh, dati ako din nag-work sa corporate. Pero, uh, bago pa ako makapag-work ng corporate, meron na akong bizarre talaga na mag-work from home. Kasi nakikita ko siya online at lagi ako nakaka-receive ng emails. Okay, uh, may mga newsletter akong nare-receive and marami akong nakikita sa Google na you can work from home uh, earning dollars. Sino bang ayaw ng ganun, di ba? So, ayun, uh, after ko ng one year pa lang sa corporate, nag-design ako agad. After nun, um, pinurso ko na yung work from home. Uh, nag-start ako na nasa corporate pa lang ako eh, nag apply apply na ako. Ah, uh, syempre baguhan, expect mo na maraming rejection kasama 'yon. Tapos um meron din isang opportunity na uh, binigay sa akin na makapag abroad. So instead na kasi ang ginawa ko noon, nagpray lang ako Lord kung para sa akin ba 'tong pag uh, pag uh, kasi ang kasi bago ko mag, ano nun, meron din akong opportunity na makapag-work from home. Next, send ako ng proposal, eh, wala pa. Tapos yun din, naghintay ako ng visa. 
So, ang ginawa ko, nag-pray ako, Lord, kung ayaw mo na akong mali, sana mahira ko dun sa uh, trabaho online. And then, ayun na nga, sinagat na Lord yung prayer ko. Uh, Nakapag-work from home ako since uh, 2014 pa. So, ayun, masaya ako. Masaya ako dahil uh, answered prayer siya. At hindi ko siya pinagsisiya. Oo, no, sobrang malaking malaking adjustment siya from working sa corporate then working from home. Pero no regrets kasi uh, lagi po kasama yung family ko. Tapos I can work whenever, whatever, bas, wherever, basta may internet. Okay, nakakapag-travel ako while working. And uh, financial freedom. Ayun. And then hindi ka stick sa isang client lang. You can work with multiple clients. At the same time, makakaroon kami extra savings, di ba? And ayun, uh, awa naman ng Diyos, may mga investments na rin. And uh, makit nga pa bookkeeping. Bookkeeping noong una, ayoko talaga. Uh, Tulsa ni Lola, eh, pinagbigyan ko na. <laughs> ayun, tapos noon, after noon, um, ay gustuhan ko na rin. Siguro ito talaga yung leading ni Lord para sa akin. So, eto ngayon, ah, uh, Tumutulong din po kami sa other as aspiring bookkeepers and accountants na makapag-work from home. And we are thankful sa FFAC. Binigyan kami opportunity na makapag-share. Paano ba makakuha ng uh, bookkeeping clients online? So, ayan. <laughs> ayan. Thank you, Shari. Ayan. Now, the floor is yours, Alfie. <laughs> okay. Hello. Ako nga pala si Alfie. I'm from originally sa Jensen, but I've worked in uh, Manila for eight years, no? Eight years, so as an accountant. So, nakawork ako sa isang government-owned and controlled corporation and then sa isang manufacturing company, um, which lasted for seven years. So, last May, um, bumalik na ako dito sa Jensen to be with my family and doing this um, online bookkeeping up to now. So before that, in last 2014, so I've known um, work from home when I attended a seminar of Bo Sanchez. So it happened I I encountered uh, Joma Hilario. So he was my first coach. So he was just talking about working from home. So I got interested, and then. Um, I've enrolled, actually, hindi ko na mabilang ng mga courses. So, may online marketing, Facebook ads, social media, content marketing, um, copywriting, or parang halos na ata lahat, no? So, hindi ako nakafocus sa bookkeeping. It's because my work kasi is bookkeeping na, bookkeeping, accounting. So, medyo na board na ako. So, sabi ko, why not try yung ibang skills? Pero last 2017, I decided to focus on bookkeeping. And then, ayun, tuli-tuli na siya. Then, last February, um, I've closed marami din na project. So, I decided na gawin ko na siyang full-time. So, like Shari, meron din akong... Um, work abroad opportunity kaya lang siguro dahil na rin hindi binigay yung sagot sa dasal so siguro dahil hindi yun natuloy binigyan ako ng mga client so while doing my corpo job I am doing also the side gig yun nga yung online bookkeeping so I've started working with um, two clients from US so one is a an insurance um company and another one is a digital marketing agency so from then on ayun dumami na dumami na siya so naging happy din ako no so sabi ko siguro dito talaga ako so ayun uh, hanggang ngayon andito pa ako sarapan niyo well um I'm enjoying uh, bookkeeping, lalo na dito sa nasa bahay lang. So, I have the freedom. So, when it comes to earning, well, mas malaki siya. <laughs> mas malaki siya kasi may freedom ka to add more clients. Basta may system ka lang. So, aside from that, so anytime, I can be with my, di ba, yung, yung anak ko. So, kung mamasyal kami ngayon, okay lang. Alis na agad kami. Tsaka malayo sa traffic. <laughs> malayo sa Manila. <laughs> Kahit na sa Manila. 
Okay, Totoo. yun lang. Uh-oh. Maraming salamat, Alfie. So guys, if you are like Shari or Alfie and nakaka-relate kayo sa story nila, please share your own story in the comment section. So without further ado, gusto na nating malaman paano ba makakuha ng client or how a person without any knowledge about accounting or bookkeeping can indulge into this niche or into this field. Kasi as we know, malawak ang remote work. Malawak ang work from home. So guys, if you can give us at least five or three pointers kung what makes a person um, parang how can you say that this person can be a, a bookkeeper or an accountant? Do you have any set of criteria that you can share to us tonight bago tayo mag-proceed dun sa slides? So, sa mga nanonood naman sa atin, please tag your friends na part din ng community na to na sa tingin nyo makakatulong sa kanila tong webinar na to. Sige, let's go ahead with Alfie first. Okay, so, uh, syempre, basically, um, you have a background of bookkeeping. So, basic yun siya. So, kailangan yung mga bookkeeping principles, no? So, that is a skill needed in this um, industry. So, meron naman din kami mga students like yung nakagraduate sa TESDA uh, taking, um, I think, two years or three years sa bookkeeping. So, isa din yun. Um, ang masasabi ko lang actually is uh, sometimes yung confidence kasi it's a great factor actually in doing online bookkeeping. Um, we have one member actually, uh, hindi naman siya as in super experience sa bookkeeping, pero ang number one factor na kikita ko sa kanya is because of confidence and the willingness to help the client. So, when that client offers something for her no, to do the job, okay? So, ang gagawin niya is uh, being resourceful. Marami naman tayong mga resources sa online. So, she can find ways. So, that is also one factor. Uh, being resourceful aside from the skills and the right mindset. Kasi, marami din akong um, na-connect ng mga bookkeepers. Um, they, are, they are telling me na baka limited lang yung number of clients. Pero actually... Remember always this, uh, guys, na lahat ng businesses, they need a bookkeeper because uh, bookkeeping has something to do with record keeping. So, yung mga businessmen, actually, very busy na sila. So, their main focus is to grow their business. And we, as a bookkeeper, responsible na lang natin yung um, record keeping, okay? For the accounting, that is more on um, interpreting the financial report. So, that is also necessary. So, yes, skill. At saka, kailangan din ng marketing actually. Kasi hindi din tayo pwede mag-focus lang sa books, no? So, mostly, mas importante din yung marketing. Kailangan natin um, i-market yung skill natin. So, yun. Irregardless of age, actually, so meron kaming mga uh, 20s, 30s, or even 40s. Meron din ata kaming 150, gano'n na age. So, nasa sayo yan. Uh, tibay ng loob, okay? Tiwala sa sarili. At saka yung masasabi mo talaga na kayang-kaya ko to. Ang importante kasi is um, you, you, you just have to be a source of help sa mga clients. Kasi clients are only after of the result. Okay? Yun yung pinaka-importante. Yung willingness din sa part mo. Alright. Ang laman ng sinabi ni Alfie. That's really fantastic. Shari, do you have anything to add? Actually, sinabi na lahat ni Alfie. Pero yung uh, bookkeepers and accountants, share simple it is uh, to support the uh, business financial transactions so yun um sinabi na ni Alfie eh. so <laughs> that's it yeah all right without further ado uh, guys i present to you Alfie and Shari to discuss their presentation slide. So if you have question that just comment it in the comment section, then by the end of this video, we will discuss this. Anyway, if you are watching this on a replay, don't forget to comment hashtag replay and mapapanood nyo to after the live session. Ayan. Mananatili to sa group. Thank you, Alfie and Shari. Dito lang ako okay. sa background. The floor is yours. Yeah.
Okay, makikita na ba? Okay, yes. Okay na. Okay. So, our topic for tonight is uh, getting bookkeeping clients. Now, this is a this method that we are going to show to you has something to do with um getting clients usually outside from the online job sites, okay? So Let's call this NCPC. This is a four simple process. Now, we will tackle one by one this four process. Now, the first one has something to do with network outreach. So, we all know connection is very, very important in um, building relationship. Now, um, we can start um, network outreach with our families and friends, okay? And then um, some business owners. And then aside from that, uh, service providers, okay? So we can tell to them um, by telling them that we have this kind of service, this online bookkeeping. We can communicate them and tell them, hey, hey, Shari, um, I have this um, online bookkeeping business going on. If ever you know someone who needs help about bookkeeping, um, you can refer me to him, okay? So it is just like a simple conversation. So you start with your family, with your friends, telling them that, um, you are doing this uh, online bookkeeping business, making them aware. So that is very important. It's like um, letting the whole world, whole world know that uh, you are doing this. Okay, then um, get connection also with those organizations wherein uh, your target market is involved. Okay, like attending seminars um conventions okay and then you get contact numbers from them and the most important thing is your goal here is just to build a rapport okay you just listen to their um about their business then you ask about their background and then be more interested of them so that is your main goal actually in your network outreach then we can also um, work together like we have some friends online doing social media marketing, right? So we can tell them, hey, um, is your client um, needing help in bookkeeping? Okay. Uh, does he has issues on clean up and cash up? I think um, you can refer me to him. So you can also ask your online friends, okay? So it's like... Um, letting them know okay reaching them out those people your families your friends the business owners and aside from that um it is like collaborate collaborating also with them okay i have this um case before um i focus more on the bookkeeping when my client happened to uh need a taxation help okay so yes uh basically i know us tax but i want to to make it safe so i'd rather um hire someone to work with me in col collaboration so i had i i got someone from us so after working with that client i told him that i have a client who needs help in taxation so after my work then he does most of the taxation part so it's both a win-win situation I get to help them a new client, okay? Both of us will get paid. So we are both happy. So it's a matter of uh, working also with other um, professionals in collaboration. Then aside from that, we can also um, have a connection. So this is the most outdated, um, what they call this one, a medium of connection. We have the Facebook, right? We have the LinkedIn. So we have um, markets, I mean, big markets inside the Facebook and LinkedIn. So I can say, uh, why not use this um, two famous platforms, this Facebook and LinkedIn, to reach out to our target market? So that will also include in our uh, network outreach. Now, the first thing that uh, 
we're gonna do with this um, network outreach is we send um, connection request, okay? Then uh, we have also a series of scripts as a guide before um, sending a connection request. Then after that, um, if they have responded, we've sent them a thank you messages. Then after that, we do some uh, building rapport, okay? A short conversation. Then after that, there are a series of uh, exchange of conversation going on for a few days or a week. Then you send them the SMIQ or what we call the single most um, important question uh, that has something to do with their pains and challenges. So that will be part of our network outreach. It is something to do that will um, make the uh, relationship or the conversation going on. So between you and the lead, which is your target market, actually. So um, it would be very easy for someone like uh, we did in our master class. We guide our students. So we have the templated script. So that will be easy for them. Example, if uh, someone responded uh, this one, what message to to respond. So we have also those scripts. So uh, we are the ones guiding them in doing those um, guide, no? In doing those guide, or what to say after the after the convo. Then from the SMIQ, um, since we already know the pains and the challenges, okay. So that is part of the connection or in connecting with your target market. It's very important. At least um, you know your. You know your target market, okay, first you should know your target market. That is also to niche down because if you know most of the uh, most of the things generally, that means that uh, you cannot be a master to anyone. So it's better that you niche down. So uh, sometimes we advise them to niche down at these three markets just like mine. I've concentrated to digital marketing agencies. Then we have cleaning service and um, the e-commerce, yes. And then from that market, um, we also do some offer statement. Okay, that's very important. In the offer statement, it's more on a tagline. We're in every time the, uh, what do you call this one? Your target market sees your Facebook or LinkedIn. They will already know that um, you are someone um, that could be a great help to their business. Okay, so from that um, tagline, uh, they will be able to see that, hey, uh, this person knows how to clean up or do catch up. I think I have to connect to this person. So we have that um, overstatement guideline also. Then aside from that, um, you have also to uh, optimize your LinkedIn profile. So that is... Uh, very important also okay so you you place your content there with your offer okay um with your offer and aside uh from the offer itself um you have also to prepare your calendly link so that is very important in booking a call so we use um calendly since um it's free. I think the free part is the 30-minute call, okay? So we use the Calendly in order to book a call. And then we send those um, Calendly link uh, to those um, leads who want to um, have a uncovery call, okay? Or the discovery call. So from that um, Calendly link, okay, uh, lead uh, books a call for you. Then from that um, call, okay, um, you will ask, you will be the one to do more of the interview for the client. So it's a, um, an opposite, like uh, if we apply for a job, we are always being interviewed, right? So in this process, this uncovering call, we do most of the um, questions actually and aside from that um we do also most of the listening part so we ask um the client what are the pains the challenges in this business when it comes to um records or the bookkeeping okay then 
um, you have to note them what are the pains and then um, how are you going to guide them from where they in, uh, from where they are now to to the place that they want to go okay or to the kind of business that they want to have okay you just have to guide them then after that you close the call okay then after closing the call um you can invite okay invite the client to have an access of the what they call this one of their accounting system so most of our clients they use some quickbooks online they use zero okay so we ask access from them from their books to give us a quick audit walkthrough okay so we do the checking the checking of those accounts so it's like um checking those uh, balance sheet and the income statement um review okay and then we note um what are the findings just like example um accounts receivable has negative balances or accounts receivable um has an outstanding balance um from previous years so we note all these things okay then after that um after the what do you call this one the audit walkthrough um we will not prepare a proposal now this proposal um we will um we will post again with the the pains and the challenges okay of the of your client then the second is um what are the things uh they need for their improvement of their business then we can also present there our deliverables example if you want to target to finish this project for 30 days so we set um deliverables there okay for 30 days so let's say day one day two you do the conversion of um pdf files to csv files for uploading to quickbooks online or for zero so we specify the deliverables then after the, the deliverables we also suggest what could be the investment okay we we present the options okay so at least two uh to choose from so um we require upfront fees usually 30 percent okay so it depends upon the load of work okay so most of the um pricing uh is based on the load of work or the work that will be um done inside the system of the client okay so depends upon the goal okay the goal or the needs of the client actually then after that then it's ready to close the sale so either yes okay you can choose the options or no we can tell also why okay sometimes um, they they will say we cannot afford so it depends so you can also do some negotiations okay as long as the uh, you know the price is right okay so negotiation is also um open in this ncpc process actually so from that closing the sale then you can uh, start sending the nda the non-disclosure agreement then you can now start the doing the project so most of the time um we exchange um what do you call this one this communication through emails or you can use skype okay or facebook um you do the screenshots or exchange of emails especially if you have any um questions from the client okay so there should be a an open communication and from time to time you give updates especially if you have a set of deliverables on a given date okay so that's very important just to let them know that you are still there okay because most of the <laughs> most of the uh, pains that i have encountered before from the clients they they uh, uh they have problems about their previous bookkeepers wherein they can no longer be located okay out from the blue so that is also their main concern so it's good that uh you make some communication so communication is very important so if you have any issues or any concerns like 
um, you have questions about a certain transaction, all of today you can screenshot it and then you can send it through email or you can paste it in the Facebook Messenger. So at least the client knows that um, you are doing the work. Okay. So I think that ends for the NCPC. Now, Ms. Shari. Ms. Shari, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. I'm actually here. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, diba yun? Um, there's question from me, Alfie. Uh, mm -hmm. This uh, for simple process, network outreach, uh, C is, um, uh, what do you call this? Uncovering call, and then P is proposal, and then C is close to sale. So, ito, I'll be showing you a bookkeeping business overview, just what Alfie just discussed a while ago. So, we start with outreach, outreach with the um, target market. So there are two ways. We have the inbound and outbound. So inbound, ito, uh, walang control dito. So client will come to you. Hindi mo filter Hindi mo um, assess kung ito ba yung ideal client mo. So pero, nasa sa'yo pa rin kung gusto mo siyang tanggapin. Pero ito, wala kang effort na ginawa. Siya yung pumupunta sa'yo. So nakuha mo yan either... Uh, sa pag-post mo online, value post, and uh, referrals ng client mo for this lead. Then, uh, yun nga din discuss ni Alfie, which is an uncovering call. Itong uncovering call, it's more on, more on yes, knowing the pain pains of the client. Uh, para kang doktor, tapos tinatanong mo yung pasyent, pasyente mo kung ano ba yung mga uh, sakit niya at paano mo siya matutulungan. And this is very important kasi dito pa lang na-assess mo na kung paano mo gagawin yung next strategy which is sending the proposal. Okay? Kasi paano mo magagawa yung strategy if hindi mo naiintindihan yung pain ni, ni client? Okay? So, yun yung pinanghugutan natin. That's why it's also important that you take notes dur uh, during the this, this uncovering call or pwede mong i-record yung discussion nyo during this uh, uncovering call. Para pwede mo siyang balikan when you're doing your strategy, which is uh, this sending proposal. So, sending proposal, uh, it includes, uh, as stated by Alfie, deliverables. Ano ba yung i-deliver mo kay client? I-deliver mo kung ano yung gusto niyang uh, solution. Siyempre, hindi mo naman siya bibigyan ng uh, burger kung gusto ng fries, di ba? So, um, also, this uh, in this part, in nga, uh, pricing, depende yan sa load of work. Para naman hindi mo na, hindi ka naman na, na de -de motivate dahil, ay, ang dami naman trabaho, tapos ganito lang yung offer ni client. So, dito pa lang, uh, dun pa lang sa proposal, ikaw na mismo yung nag-take control at kung magkano yung gustong bayarin ni client sa'yo, nabibil mo dito. So, you give options. You could give at least, one to two options, pricing options for the client to choose. Okay? And then, yon timeline, gano, mo, gano ba siya katagal na uh, i-deliver sa client? Ito, medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng issue dito kasi tayong mga Pilipino, gusto natin nagpapa-impress talaga sa mga kliyente natin online na sinasabi natin, we want to finish it in two weeks, pero hindi natin natatapos to the point na nagkakaroon tayo ng um, nagkakaroon anxiety attack, and then uh, medyo nagkaka-problema. So, dito, ditong part na to, uh, sa timeline, make sure, okay, na, alimbawa, sa tingin mo, matatapos siya ng two weeks, at least, magbigay ka pa ng allowance, at least one to two weeks pa. Okay, para kung, ano, uh, may mangyari man, at least, di ba, kung mag-procrastinate ka man ng ilang araw, di ba, meron pa rin adjustment, na-deliver mo pa rin siya on time. And then, lastly, that's it, uh, Close the sale, okay? Get paid, send the invoice, okay? That's it. After the client paid for the upfront payment, uh, I onboard mo na siya. So that's it. That's very simple. I hope that you learned something from this discussion. And we're ready for questions. Ayan, my questions. Ayan. Thank you so much. Shari and Alfie, it's an amazing, I know, it's an amazing system. Uh, para actually, it's not just for any uh, for bookkeeper or for accountants. 
it's actually applicable to anyone na gusto mag-onboard ng client. So, meron tayong question dito. Uh, sabi niya, when can I get QuickBook installer that is for free to use or with the key so I can practice using okay. it? Ayan. Anyone for na gusto mag For practice, for practice well, you have test drive. So, just Google it. Test drive QuickBooks online. So, um, there is a sample company there. It's a landscaping business. So, you can do your practice there, like creating an invoice or um, recording an expense. So we have a test drive. Just Google it. Test drive QuickBooks Online. Okay. I QuickBooks Online pala, hindi yes, Google yes. Online. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. QuickBooks Online. Ayan. And there's also, I think, free 30-day trial. So you can also open that. Okay. Ayan. So... Mm-hmm. Yan ang sagot sa iyong tanong. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, may nagtatanong, nagsusupport din daw ba kayo sa Australian EU support? Ayan. Tanong niya. Uh, yes po. Sure. Yes, so, yes. Yun. Yes, yes po. Meron. <laughs> sobrang actually ang bookkeeping for us nila yun yung medyo madugo kasi sobrang daming chine-check ang books from balance sheet, profit and loss, yung bas, sobrang dami niyan. So uh, from clients na meron kami, ang pinaka-matrabaho is ang Australian clients natin. So, I don't know. May I ask kung bakit Aussie client? Is it because iba-iba yung governing law per per state para sa ano sa bookkeeping? Hindi, hindi naman. Actually, yung taxation part nila, napakadali kasi isa lang. 10% lang naman eh, GST. Uh, I think what's uh, medyo ma matagal or matrabaho dyan is yung proseso sa pag-check. Lalo na, if the company is big, uh, uh, yeah, especially ma-sellan kasi sila sa GST eh. Yung mga yeah. expenses na merong GST. Eh, so, isang receipt minsan, ilang items lang yung may GST and then the rest wala sila tax exempt. So, dun lang siya medyo nagtatagal. But once na, ano mo na yun, nasanay, nakasanayin mo na yun. Oh, yes. good. Yeah. Uh-uh. Simple na lang. <laughs> Alright. So, aside sa, ano, sa AU and US, may ibang country pa ba kayong sinusupport? UK. UK. Yes. UK. Yes. Canada. Yeah. Canada. Yeah. UK, Canada. I mm-hmm. also have a question. Um, kailangan din ba ng bookkeeping ng isang e-commerce store? Yep. yep. Yes. <laughs> very, very necessary. <laughs> Important. Kasi lalo na sa ano, um, cost analysis kasi kailangan yung cost analysis lalo sa lalo na sa inka, uh, e-commerce para malaman ng uh, owner kung nag-earn talaga siya or kung tama ba yung price niya. Importante kasi yun. Kasi meron yung mga shipping cost, ganun. So, maging part yun sa HR charge. So, dapat, uh, syempre, ang mga owners there after of the profit, yung profitability. So, mas maganda din yung uh, alam din yung cost analysis. Ganun. Ayan, sige. May question pa ako. Aside sa may tanong tayong bago, I have a question. Um, kailangan bang at least may, may knowledge? Um, for example ako, I'm a social media marketer, uh, content creator. Kailangan bang may knowledge din ako about bookkeeping and accounting? Kasi I understand that you know the cost analysis and all those for the business. Kailangan ba na dapat at least may background ang isang freelancer sa bookkeeping para alam nila yung tamang rate kailan magtataas ng rate, uh, how to check your market value. Um, is it something na applicable then to general freelancers and dapat ba nilang malaman ang basics ng ano, bookkeeping and accounting? Sige, sinong sabagot? Sinong sabagot? Siguro si Alfie muna. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, very important. Um, kasi, ano eh, at least may foundation ka na. Kasi may bookkeeping principles kasi yan, lalo lang kung nag-gets mo ba ano yung mga debit, ano yung mga credit, ano yung mga normal balances. Kung baga pa, uh, ikaw lang nakakaintindi nun. Eh, ang clients hindi naman nakaintindi nun. So, at least meron kang um, basic bookkeeping background. So, that is very important. Para pag, uh, pag titignan mo na yung financial statements or yung reports mismo ng clients mo, alam mo na kung ano yung 
uh, tama, ano yung maling nagawa, okay, kung kailangan ka ng adjustment. So, hindi na siya maging mahirap sa part mo actually. So, kailangan din siya, ganun. Yes. Oo. Ah, uh, yes. Kailangan siya, basic. Pero ang kagandahan naman doon, kasi kami, based from experience, meron kaming estudyante na, uh, or colleague na, ang gra- graduate siya as BS Chem ata siya. Yung, ah, oo. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. BS Chem. And then, mm-hmm. uh, dahil nakita niya na mas, uh, I think ito yung naging ano niya eh, BS Chem siya, tapos binigyan siya ng opportunity corporate bookkeeping. Okay, mm-hmm. sobrang alaya, di ba? Pero ayun, uh, ngayon, mas pinurso niya na si bookkeeping kasi mas nakita niya na mas maganda at mas maraming opportunity. And yun din yung kagandaan dun sa master class namin is user friendly siya. So lahat ng levels, uh, beginner, intermediate, saka expert, nakaka-adapt kasi meron kaming basic accounting, uh, may refresher kami, and advanced lessons. So, ayun. Alright. Saka may support. Yun yung importante. <laughs> yes, may support sa mga coaches. Yes. Yun kasi importante. Uh. Totoo yan. Importante talaga ang support kapag ka nag-enroll ka into a class. Now, we have another question. I think this is our last question. Do you offer online training especially on taxation po? Siguro, to be more specific, US and Australian taxation. Sige, una na ako, Ah, uh, For, as a bookkeeper, ah, kasi ito medyo nagkakatalo tayo dito. Kung ano ba yung scope ng uh, task ni bookkeeper at saka ni accountant. Like, yes. halimbawa, ikaw bookkeeper ka, hinar ka ni client, dapat uh, aware ka na tax support lang tayo. We don't do all the tax reporting. Yes. We just prepare the the, the books for the accountant to come in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ganun siya. Siyempre, lalo na different state, different taxation, uh, different uh, governing rule. So, medyo nag-iingat tayo dyan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mas maganda nang maging honest ka sa client kaysa yung sa, tatanggapin mo yung trabaho at tapos na-stress ka, hindi mo alam yung gagawin mo. Better to be honest na lang. So mm-hmm. yun, tax support tayo as a bookkeeper. Yun po. Sige, I'll be to add. Um, actually, kahit na ako, no, <laughs> yung taxation, nakipag-collaborate na lang ako sa ano, sa yes. isang taga-US. Oh, yun yung pinaka-safest way. Kasi medyo complicated si US tax eh, actually. Yes. Iba yung ano niya, yung manner of computation. Kasi nagtry talaga ako. Sabi ko, nako, hindi pala to basta-basta. So, para maging safe on the part din sa client at saka part sa'yo, mas okay na makipag-collaborate ka. And at the same time, um, yung tao na kung saan nakipag-collaborate ka, so that will be a both win-win situation sa iyo at sa kanya. Kasi um, you happen to give him a client at the same time, meron ka rin porsyento, di ba? Yes. So, yun lang. Uh, make your life easy lang. Huwag lang na masyado yung complicated. Kasi sa bookkeeping pala, ang dami mo nag-check it. Tapos taxation pa, wow, wala ka lang maano. So, mas okay din na at least pag-aralan din yung taxation. At least meron kang general idea. So, yun. Yun lang masasabi ko. Kasi kung us- um, usapang taxation, mahaba-habang discussion mo yan. <laughs> So I think it will take months before you actually uh, learn the whole process and familiarize yourself. I agree. I agree. Um, lalo na if you wanted, siguro dito sa nataong nagtanong, if you really wanted to understand taxation for a specific country, I guess yes. it's best to to have a coach talaga na nagpa-practice yes. ng taxation doon sa country yeah. na yun. Kasi mm-hmm. if in the Philippines nga lang, di ba? Um, <laughs> di ba? Ako, I hired the accountant to, to, ano, to manage my, my yeah. quarterly tax and all my my books. Kasi nga, yeah. it, it's something na, ano, na hindi ko talaga alam. And I agree with Alfie. Kung hindi mo siya alam and para safe ka, ayun, hanap ka na iba na alam yun. Just try to, to work it na at least may percentage ka pa rin. Kasi nakapag- mm-hmm. nakapag- Mm-hmm. Sa, sa ano kasi siya, specialized skill kasi, kumbaga pa. Parang other area din siya kung sa ano pa, yung sa account or sa bookkeeping, ang taxation. Right. Ayun. So, to answer the question, wala pa pong training for taxation. So, it's yes, just yes, yes. bookkeeping uh, and accounting. Uh, yes. So, basic lang tax support, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ayun. Yes. So, guys, paano nila kayo i-reach out? 
and paano sila mag-enroll sa class nyo in case they are interested. Um, Shari and Alfi. Okay, um, so yun nga po. <laughs> We're inviting you uh, if you want to really pursue bookkeeping uh, and accounting online. So we have uh, ongoing master class for batch one, uh, secret uh-huh. book, uh, the Bookkeeper Secret Academy. Mm-mm. And uh, we're now in week five. Mm-hmm. And just week three pa lang, sobra na namin, daming nakikita ang resulta from these students. And we are very happy kasi um, the students are taking action and we see that the process, the process itself is really working. Uh, sila mismo napat- napatunayan nila yon And um, yun, confidence, uh, yun din yung isa namin uh, nagiging proud kami sa mga studyante namin kasi they gain, gain confidence to offer their uh, services online. And if you want to reach us, uh, we have, and then online lang naman kami. <laughs> so yun, uh, just search uh, the Shepherds Ritual uh, Accountants and Bookkeepers. That's our public group. Uh, we're active naman doon uh, and we usually post uh, the sec uh, kung kailan yung enrollment ulit. So probably probably this, the enrollment will be on the second or third week ng December for batch 2. But we have um, ongoing uh, series. This uh, will be opening an exclusive access for a fast cash uh, training uh, will, uh, around Friday or basta this week namin ya announce naman namin sa sa public group namin it's a uh, client getting strategy it's a more extensive training that you could read uh you could do it on your own and uh, uh get uh, start getting clients online yeah. all right thank you so much Shari so for those who wanted to be part of the shepherds bookkeeping and virtual um, group. Uh, I'd like you to comment bookkeeping and accounting sa comment section para I'll send you the link of the community ni Shari and Alfie so that you can join them and you'll have a more in-depth uh, overview kung ano makukuha nyo doon sa course. Ayan. So thank you so much Shari and, Shari and Alfie. I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you guys have something else to do. Maraming salamat. <laughs> for gracing us your time. Salamat yes. for sharing you guys. your story. Yes. Again, thank you so much, Charlie and Alfie. Thank Any final me. words? Yes. Final words. Join us in the Shepherds Virtual. Account and send me. Oh, okay. ngayon, dun pa lang din sa public group. You, you'll get uh-huh. something already. What, yes. if, what if pa, if you uh, pursue yung masterclass? So, Ayun, thank you so much, FFAC and Eunice. Uh, sobrang thankful kami. Uh, Walang problema. We are even more thankful sa binigay niyo sa aming overview this afternoon. Thank you so much, Alfie and Shari. Okay, and thank, thank you. you so much to all the people who watch and join yes. us to this discussion. And if you wanted to have a replay of this video, once I ended the live video, makikita nyo na rin yung replay. So thank you so much. And... Happy Wednesday. This has been Eunice together with Shari and Alfie. And we are signing off. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.